Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today's video is all about the Paris Hound A31. I've had this thing in the house the last couple of months. I have really, really enjoyed this uh, this amplifier. And if you guys don't know what this thing is, it's a three channel amplifier from Paris Sound. Paris Sound is a premium name in, uh, in, in home electronics. And they deliver excellent um, preamps, amplifiers, all kinds of different things like that. So if you guys haven't checked them out, highly recommend doing that. But today's video is all about the A31. The A31 is kind of like an older model. so. Here's, here's, here's a reason why, why I wanted to go ahead and review this in the first place. Um, I've, I've known about Parasound. I know that their name is synonymous with, with high fidelity and, and you know, great sounding um, amplification and great sounding sound. So I, I realized that there is zero information out there about the A31. A31 is 250 watts a channel at eight ohms and that's for three channels. So typically the front stage is the most important part, right? So you, you're gonna hear the most dialogue coming out of the center channel. You're gonna hear most of the effects coming out of the left and the right. So your LCR, your front stage, is the most important, I think, in amplification. But um, And that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do the A31. It's it's an older model. It's not as sexy as the, as the brand new ones that, that, that just came out. So everyone always talks about the new ones and always everyone reviews the new ones. But I wanted to go ahead and give uh, the A31 its fair shake. Go ahead and see what it's like in my actual house. And the thing has not disappointed, but um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm kind of jumping the gun, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into all the, the specifics, all the, the reasons why I like it, some reasons why I don't like it, and then I'll let you guys all know about everything right after the intro. All right, guys, so this is the Parasound A31 amplifier. I've gone over a lot of the specs and overview of this one in the last video I did. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna leave it at the top right of the screen. But just real quick, this is a three channel amplifier. It does 250 watts at eight ohms. And if you wanna increase that impedance to four ohms, it does 400 watts at those three channels. The reason why this thing is so well sought after is because it's class A, AB amplification, which is a very um, detailed, crisp type of uh, warm type of experience whenever you're actually listening to amplification. And it's, it's very, very dependable and it's very very clean in that delivery total harmonic distortion is less than two tenths at full power which is unheard of and you're also looking at an extremely high signal to noise ratio which is 112 decibels and this thing is you know it's sturdy it's very very rugged it's 65 pounds um, at full weight and this thing is rack mountable as well so just uh, keep that in mind THX certified for, for you guys that are really into labels and, and whatnot, but this thing is a very, very elegant amplifier. It sounds amazing, and I just really wish I can hold on to it <laughs> just, just, just a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and cons of this thing. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and recap this video. So I talked about some of the um, details. I showed you guys some of the actual unit itself. So let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons. Pros, amazing sound. I mean, typically, whenever you have an amplifier, people worry about, you know, ground loop issues and different thing like, things like that. These guys actually did a really good job of, uh, you know, doing everything on their part to, to actually get rid of that. Whenever I turn these things on, uh, typically, whenever you have an amplifier that's, you know, maybe a little dirty or something like that, or even if you have just dirty power coming in your house, uh, if you put your ear, like right next to the tweeter, you should be able to, like, you shouldn't, but sometimes you will be able to hear like a hum or like a buzz or something like that. Usually in your main listening position, you can't hear it, but if, you, if you're really anal and you really want to go ahead and see if, if you have some really good stuff, put your ear right next to that tweeter and see if you hear anything. Um, with this one, I didn't actually hear anything. I have a lot of power conditioning and things like that. Another pro I would say with this thing, amazing sound uh, with it. Typically amplification kind of has a, a, an effect on the way your speakers sound. So with this one, I would say it's not necessarily on, because there, there, there's like a sliding scale. You can have things that are more bright. You can have things that are more warm. You can have things that are, you know, more neutral. Um, I would say that this one is on the sliding scale of neutral to a little bit warm. Um, the overall sound tonality didn't change all that much whenever I hooked this thing up, but it was enough to actually notice that you were using a completely different amplification than what I was using before. So what I was using before were the Outlaw Model 2200s. Those are really great amplifiers. I think that they run on Clash Class H. I have to double check on that because it's been a while since I've checked the specs on that thing. That's 200 watts a channel. This is 250 watts a channel. And this is class A, A, B. And then that one is um, A, B, and then I think G or H or which, whichever one it is. 
but the, the sound that actually comes out of this thing, it's, it's going to be a little more, you're, you're going to actually expect it to sound a little different with that AAB. And I think the first 10 watts or so are going to be all A. So if you're listening to things at like a moderate level and you're not really pushing it too much and you have some really sensitive speakers, you're typically going to be in that nice threshold to where you're not even using the AB yet and you get that nice sought after class A type of amplification sound. Just thinking about all the stuff that these things, all, all, all the things that I like about it, it's all these little things that like these little stepping stones that most but most people will just live with or like they just don't necessarily care about that's what separates parasound from the rest of those brands because these guys went ahead and looked at all that stuff and they try to give you the absolute best product possible another pro this thing is just really easy to connect it's just really easy to use you just pretty much set it and forget it you don't have to worry about it so one thing that I will say about this one is you can use it in a couple different configurations I only use it with the interconnects the RCAs whatever you want to call them um, basically which means is it's an unbalanced input it comes out of your your AVR your AV receiver or your preamp and then it goes right into there and then that's the source for the actual signal and then from that source you plug in your, your you put your outs which are your speaker outs and your actual speakers themselves uh, in between there you can have a couple different options of turning it on um, I use the auto on function because I had those on my model 2200 outlaws and the, the auto on, auto on function on that one worked perfectly it was seamless didn't matter if it was you know super low volume super high volume you're not you're not able to adjust the auto on on that thing this one has a rheostat in it so it's variable so you can actually control um, how sensitive you want the auto on or you know not not so sensitive so if you want it to come on at very low volumes if you want it to come on at only at extremely high volumes um, you can do that but I try to turn this one you know what I'll go ahead and talk about that in a second in the cons but I mean just ease of operation this thing just set it and forget it um, I've never had to worry about it once I did um, auto calibration on it one time and then after that I just let it go um, I, I could definitely tell a, sound, a difference in sound the very first time I turned it on and then uh, <laughs> I've just been enjoying it ever since Another pro I will say about this thing, it's kind of a pro and a con. It is very, very well built. As you can see on the side of these things, has huge, massive heat sinks. And typically with class D amplification, which is not necessarily looked for in you know a higher, a hi-fi setting or like even a home theater setting, uh, class D amplification typically runs into problems at the higher uh, ends of the frequencies. Um, with A and AB, it's very well sought after because it sounds really, really good. So with the A, A, B type of operation, you get a lot of heat coming out of there. So with that, you're gonna have those massive heat sinks that actually help with that. I've noticed that whenever I, you know, go ahead and touch this thing after, you know, really romping on it with some really good um, movies and demos and things like that, barely warm to the touch. I mean, like this thing, just cold operator, smooth operator, cold operator. I mean, it doesn't get hot. Um, as you guys know, if you guys have a Denon, you guys touch this thing after it's even been on for a couple minutes, man, the, the, top, the top gets really, really hot. And so like I was saying, this thing's big, it's heavy, um, it is heavy and it's really sturdy. So you don't have to worry about it. If you guys have an AV rack, it would be right at home in an AV rack. Just make sure you guys have, you know, a well ventilated area. And I kind of put mine in the corner, but um, <laughs> I, I had my AV rack and I'm, since I got this big old pro uh, projector screen, it's the actual I think it's I think it's another foot bigger than my last screen and I had to move everything out like the speakers so I just don't have any more room for my AV rack but uh <laughs> hopefully I can use it in the future sometime so other than that let's go ahead and talk about some cons so cons on this thing uh, I was talking about the auto on function with it earlier um, that one kind of gave me some issues and whenever I would you know whenever the wife would try to watch movies or you know TV or something late at night or even whenever I was trying to you know watch something late at night and I didn't want to bother her um, you would turn this thing on and then if you turn it down on my Denon, I have it turned down I think below like 30, negative 30, it would turn off the front stage. So you'd have to, you know, pump it back up to like, you know, negative 26 or something like that and then it would typically stay on. But this thing just searches for a signal so it's, 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 it's pretty sensitive but it's not as sensitive as you would need it for just a general, because I use this, this, this whole theater, I use this as my just general, um, you know, living room this, this this is my tv this is just what we do we we don't we don't have a tv anymore and this is just life now so um on a day-to-day -day type of operation i may say just go ahead and get that wired uh, that hardwired trigger basically that mono oral cable is what it's called and it's called a trigger dc cable or whatever you plug it into your actual source that you want to control your actual device you plug it in the back on the 12 volt dc trigger output and then you can actually run it to the back of this thing and that'll turn it on and just switch the little um the the, the, the actual sensor on there well not, not the sensor the actual switch on there to tell it to stop auto sensing and to start using the actual trigger itself 
So that's an option there. I think that for my op operation, I think that would be 100% ideal. But I, I even talked to the guys over at Parasound after I did that initial review, whenever I was talking about the Auto One, because I really like Auto One. It works really great. I, had, I never had an issue at all with my Outlaw Audios. That thing would just turn on, didn't matter if it was you know, super quiet, super loud. So I talked to them after doing that first video and basically what they told me was just to use the hardwired. That's their preferred um, way of doing it. And um, they've had great results with it. And I didn't test it out that way. I would have liked to test it out that way, but I only have one um, 12 volt DC trigger. And that one's going to my Arkham P1, P1000 down there. So that one controls my surrounds. Another thing I will say is that uh, with this one, you can't dim these lights on the front. Some people, they're crazy about lights. I could care less. <laughs> I, I could care less about reflections. I could care less about a dark dark room for, for viewing. I could care less about lights on whenever you whenever you're, you're, you have your equipment going. This reminds you that you, you're, you're looking at, um, a, you're, you're actually using a very, very, high-end product because every time I see that little red light on the top, that little red P illuminated, it makes me happy because I mean, I know that I'm getting great sound. I know that I have an excellent product in my house and just every single time it, it, it turns on, it just sounds amazing. Obviously there's one last con, um, it's it's the price guys. I mean, if, if you're looking at Parasound, you already know that you're gonna be spending some cash for a really great product. And here's the thing that I, that I actually came up with you're not gonna go to the Lexus dealership and complain about prices of the Lexus. Like, you know that you're going there, you're gonna get some high quality stuff. You know, you're, you're not gonna sit there and complain about, you know, the actual overall price of this thing. If you guys don't want to spend that much money, there's uh, there's plenty of other options, but if you guys go and seek out that high quality type of stuff, like if, if you want something that's dependable, reliable, it's gonna be amazing, it's very classy, and um, it, it'll perform very well. Um, just like you would analogous going to the Lexus dealership. That's the reason why people go to Parasound. It's an amazing type of company and I, I'm, I'm really proud to actually be working with those guys. I have a, I, I, I think what I did is I, I, I worked out a deal to where um, after I go ahead and review this one, I should be able to review um, some more of them for you guys. And it's really cool of those guys. I, I met them at Expona 2019 and it's just been a really good type of uh, relationship with those guys. So hopefully I'll be able to keep doing these reviews for you guys. If you guys like these reviews, let me know down below. It's been a lot of fun. I've been trying to change up the content for you guys. Um, so with this one, sadly, I have to go ahead and send it back. It was an amazing performer, but um, for my for my ideal system, I want more amplification. So I may double back and actually buy this one, <laughs> but uh, the, j just to have this thing in the house for the last couple couple months has been really, really cool. And um, for my operation, I need nine channels externally driven. And that's for the horizontal because I'm gonna have my heights taken care of by the P1000. So I'm gonna have six up there and then nine on the bottom. So I need 16, I need 15 channels of external amplification is trying to what I'm saying, or trying, what I'm trying to say, because I'm going to a more pre-pro type of setup and um, there's not gonna be those internal um, amplifiers on the actual receiver that are gonna help me out to get to that point. So uh, I'm, I'm just trying to set up for the future, but that's just where I'm at right now. If I didn't have to worry about that, if I were just to keep this system the way it is right now, I would love to have this one. I would buy this one in a second. Um, I've really enjoyed having it. Sounds amazing. Um, just every single time, just works perfectly. It doesn't get hot, but you know, I'm just repeating myself because <laughs> all these things are just really, really cool about this actual product itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the Parasound 831. Um, if, if you guys wanna check this one out, I'm pretty sure Worldwide Stereo has it, or if, you, or if not, you guys can contact me and I can go ahead and you know, send you guys someone that, actually, that, that can actually get you this product. But it's been a lot of fun. Really enjoyed making this video. It's been a long time coming. I'm wearing my dad's shirt. It's, uh, it's after the 4th of July and I've been really busy on taking care of some personal stuff. And you guys should know pretty much at the beginning of this video, if you guys haven't seen it, you might wanna go back, rewatch the intro of this video. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead in this video here. If you guys want links to any of this stuff, make sure you hit me up in the comments or as always there in the description. I'm a, a, a Emotiva, Amazon, Klipsch and SVS affiliate. So if you guys want links to any of that stuff, buying those, using those links actually helps out the channel so much to where I can improve the quality of these videos. I can give you guys more testimonial. I've said it over and over and over again, but you know, I, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that there's 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 cause for you know helping out the channel, and I really appreciate the support over the last year and a half. It's been a lot of fun. Just about to hit four million views, and I think I have twenty four thousand subscribers. I mean, it's just crazy. It's been a crazy journey. But that's it, guys. It's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead this video here. I know it got kind of long winded, but I appreciate it, and I'll check you guys on the next one.